you know, if we go like a week without a movie review, they think we're just never we're done. doing movie reviews I got ever. today. <laughs> Stupid reactions, idiots. I'm Corbin. I am Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Ooh. I love juicy content. It's so it's juicy. juicy. Thank you for us on Patreon. I'll follow an official Twitter account. Today, we did a movie review. Why do I imagine you in like wizard garb when you do that? Today. Yeah, like a wizard cap and a robe. Harry, you would make a great weird professor at Hogwarts. Dumbledore. Book. Dumbledore would. Dumbledore would. The book version book of Dumbledore, Dumbledore would do that. Weird. He would do that. Uh, but anyways, well, we digress. <laughs> we do digress. Uh, we watch... Com I still don't know how to pronounce this specifically. Kamini? I think it's Kamine. 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 Which means... Mean. Bastard. Oh, I thought it meant mean. No, it means bastard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. I like it. Okay. I like it because... Uh, <laughs> I thought it meant mean. Like, maybe well, I mean like, like tough and I'm pretty cruel and yeah I just I think it's funny to call a film bastard bastard in Indian culture <laughs> like they're pretty conservative most of the time anyway true <laughs> much much less shoving the word bastard into your <laughs> just make sure but that would be applicable and I'll explain why in a moment here we go I'll <clears> but yes why in a moment. obviously directed by the incomparable uh, Michelle Bardwash Hugh. As usual. Wrote the screenplay yeah. and also uh, was the composer. Yeah, of all the uh, music and the songs which, and directed which it. Which is and... how he does it. Yep. Uh, and starring Shahid Kapoor, Priyanka Chopra, uh, and uh, those were the only two I recognized. Uh, correct? Correct. Me too. Okay. I didn't recognize the other actors. I'm sure there'll be comments that tell us where we've seen them before. And there was a guy in Ragda Basanti, so. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> There's one already. Read the synopsis real for me. The synopsis is... The desperate lives of two estranged twin brothers converge over missing drugs, politics, racial prejudice, corrupt cops, and an unplanned pregnancy. <laughs> that's that's, a, that's not very accurate. Very accurate, but it sounds funny that way. Yeah. It almost sounds like a Ron Burgundy film yeah. or something. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's because of the voice you were doing. It again. could have been a missing drugs, politics, racial prejudice, corruption, and an unplanned pregnancy. Uh, spoilers. These are just going to be a spoiler video. This came out yeah, a long time sorry, ago. So I assume everybody's seen it, but us. If you haven't, go away. <laughs> go watch it, then come yeah. back. Anyways, but yes, the uh, this is our... Fourth? Fourth installment of Michelle Bartolosh? We have Heather, Heather Seven Moth, Mc Seven and McBull. McBool, this is four. Four. Yeah. We haven't watched Umkara yet. We will. Yeah. Do we will. Obviously, we know we it's the trifecta. We know. Uh, but yes, it was highly, highly requested to uh, review. Also, uh, a lot of the songs that were in it, which yes. we talked about, which I, I enjoyed. And who's this producer? Ronnie Scruvall. I've never seen his name pop up oh. on any film. I didn't know he produced it. Yeah, I did. The minute I saw it, I was like, well, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, he produced... Uh... <laughs> Half the films in India are produced by Ronnie Scruvalla. Really? Oh, my stars. What production company does he own? Ronnie Scruvalla. Probably. Well, we'll get it. <laughs> it's probably like YRF. <laughs> owns YRF right. or something like that. No, I know he doesn't own YRF. But, but anyway, yeah. He this, produces a ton. This is the fourth installment of Us for uh, Vishal Bardwash, and um, I can't tell you what number it is for Priyanka Chopra. Uh, oh yeah! Wow, no. Or, uh, She's probably Kapoor. up there. They're they're way up there. We've seen a lot of their stuff. But uh, I I actually really really enjoyed this film. I don't know what you thought of it yet. Um, but it's it's not my favorite Rochelle Bardwash film. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it I don't think it was trying to be my favorite Rochelle Bardwash film. Ever, no, I'll either. tell you what. From the get go, yeah. I was impressed with how different it felt. Yeah, very different from him. Mm -hmm. Um, it didn't stay the way it started because when it started, it was it was quite picturesque at yeah. the beginning, and I thought, really? Yeah. But then it, it quickly shifted back to the kind of visual yeah, aesthetic especially he the, gives. The second half as well, it yeah, was really gritty and really gritty fast. handheld. Yeah, which I love. I mean, that's what you want from a Vishal Bardwaj film. I watched it with my wife, and she told me she was like, "I love the way he." Shows his art, basically, is what she said. Yeah, well, uh, she, it's like she, I love the way he shoots stuff. Uh, I do too. It's it's like we. I think we always make this comparison, but it's worth saying every time. Like the Sanjay Lee Mansali, uh, he has one type of thing that you exactly. love watching. Right. He, 
for Charles, very different, right. but you still love watching how it's yes, done. One hundred percent. This reminded me a, a, even more of a, a, like a Quentin style film, like a Pulp Fiction without yeah. the comedy, uh -huh. uh, the the gritty style it was shot Dirty. in, uh, and all that kind of stuff. What I did really enjoy because Shahid Kapoor, uh, the, obviously we've seen a lot of his best performances. Yeah, and I, I, think, I was thinking about that. At some point in the film, I was watching him and I was realizing how much of his work we've seen now. Yeah. And why this is, uh, this was big in his career. Yeah. Because this was the point, before this, he was Chocolate Boy. Oh, really? Yes. This was ah. the first thing I saw in an interview after um, I watched the film. Yeah. And uh, they were talking to uh, Vishal Bardwash and they're like, how did you think of Shahid that he's this Chocolate Boy? Right. Nobody can see him in a negative, which is strange to me, but... People would put actors in that box, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, I digress. Uh, but they, he was only ever the Chocolate Boy. So I actually right. thought this performance of him, which he did really, really, really well, was very actually kind of like his career. One was almost Chocolate Boy. He was, he was, huh. he was very interesting. Pretty. Parallel. And then the other one was I think the roles he he enjoys playing. Yeah, it's very like edgy, the negative roles, negative. edgy, yeah. all that kind of stuff that he does really, really well at. But that's how I was. Seeing that comparison, and that's I, a great comparison. I thought he did really well. Obviously, this if this would have been the first thing we've seen of like before, if he was Chocolate Boy, I'd be like, wow, he did a really great job. Mm -hmm. But obviously, we've seen Header, we've seen Uda Punjab, we've seen it like hit Padma Bhav. We we go in reverse a lot with a lot of these a actors. Lot of it. <laughs> a lot of, our first exposure to Shahid Kapoor was Padma Bhav, which is not a typical Shahid Kapoor role no. by any stretch of the imagination. No. Very, very different. Then you delve into Header and Uda Punjab. And, yes. And so all these other great kind of roles things. that he finally got out of his uh, chocolate boy roles. Yeah. And he's playing what he wants to. And so it's it's interesting to see the growth mm -hmm. of the actor in the, yeah. of it. Because I think he did really, really well. Priyanka obviously did really, really well. Priyanka's <laughs> just always Priyanka. Like, I, I, I just. She was actually a powerhouse in there. Like, she was like, every single scene was almost really emotional for her. Yeah, she's really, for me, the thing that's most surprising for me about Priyanka's abilities is that she doesn't come from thespianatic background. It's, she, she came into this via being a model. Mm -hmm. But it's really clear she's gifted, and I would not be surprised if she's done homework and done work. Uh, if she hasn't done the homework and hasn't done the work, then she's one of the most talented actors who just, it comes to them naturally. There are some actors uh, that th they've never trained, and it's, I hate saying it, like, they didn't need to. Yeah. They just know how to act. It's very rare she may be in that boat because she's just always so present, so available. She's the kind of actor that when I watch her work, I want to work with her. Um, I just, she's always and good. It was, it's something we wouldn't notice because we don't speak the languages. That wasn't her real voice. She was actually doing Marathi. Oh, as far as her, her, her dialect, dialect and, and accent. Uh, the, yeah. So like yeah. she, I, I watched. Like we didn't pick up Gully Boy. We didn't pick up yeah. um, Ranbir doing the, the Mumbai Yeah, accent. I watched, uh, like I said, I watched some interviews after uh, I did, um, after we saw the film. Mm -hmm. And she had a, di a, a Marathi dialect coach with her all the time to help her do it. And Shahid as well, because mm. he had different voices for each for the character. Brothers. Yeah. yeah, for each brother, uh, which he did really, really well for playing two and characters. That's not easy. By the way, Vishal did a flawless job oh. in filming the two of them as brothers. That fight scene, flawless. Oh, that was a, like I was going to talk. We'll talk about we'll that. We'll talk about that. But we'll yeah, go. let's stick. And that's as far as a, as a whole. The, the, the I thought pretty much everybody in this did a solid job. Yeah, it was it was interesting because. All of his other films, there's one central guy, and I know Shahid was the central guy, but it felt more uh, like a huge ensemble piece. Huge. In fact, let's, this will um, take me into the one thing that is, again, what I'm about to say is the one dislike I have for it, which is a big one for me, okay. but it's my deal. Okay. I don't know if it's just where my headspace was when I was watching it. I got lost a lot. Really? Yes. Huh. For example, they... Um, Priyanka and Shahid, uh, yeah, Guru and Sweetie are headed now to the airport after the fiasco at their wedding when her brother shows up, right? Mm -hmm. And then next thing I know, Guru is being interrogated and I'm like, when did he get arrested? When, okay, when they, did that happen? They picked him out of the car. Okay, yeah. there, there were a lot of disconnects like that. Yeah. Example, when, when the brothers are fighting each other, next thing I know, his brother has been caught and is captured. 
and I didn't understand the relationship of the guy, uh, uh, Tashi. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand where he came into play with his, there was a lot of stuff where I got disconnected that I, I really couldn't follow what was going on gotcha. a lot of the time. Yeah, the, uh, I, in one of the interviews I saw, um, they asked, Vishal, he was like, were you ever worried that this would connect with people? Because it was, it was actually, I think, a big hit when it came out, and people were really, really liking it a lot. Um, and he was like, when I was writing it and uh, all that kind of stuff, no. Um, and when he was putting the score together, which we'll talk more about, um, uh, but the uh, he said, when I started filming it, I was wondering if it would be too much for people. Uh, he says, he was like, I, I figured just go for it, mm -hmm. because... Um, he thought, he was like, I think the movie would be boring if it didn't have a bunch of stuff going on, which I actually, I enjoyed a lot of the, cause there was what, three or four gangs. Yeah. Well, uh, now that you say that, I will say I never got bored because I was constantly yeah. in a state of trying to figure out and what was going on. It's more difficult for us because we have to read the subtitles. And if it's a fast paced film, it's, it's, it's hard it's to keep very, up sometime. Very difficult. Uh, because obviously it's not a language that so we have to read. No, so and stuff you, gets if, lost in translation. If you blink sometimes you can miss a very important piece of information. Correct. It's so it's, it's one of those things with this type of film, but he, he said he didn't want to, he said it's quite a simple story. Uh, actually, really, uh, yeah, he's like, it's 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 not that complicated of a story because it's just these two brothers who get mixed up in some gangs, and that's basically the story. He okay. says so. He was like, so there was all this stuff going on because he was like, I needed it to feel like chaotic. Well, it gave uh, us that, yeah, yeah. And so, like, obviously, that's what he was going for, and um, I think he did a, a really good job. Like I said, this wasn't my favorite Vishal film. But like I said, no, and it wasn't for me for that reason alone. I, my disconnect with the follow of everything. Yeah, but it's, I think that's mainly. It might be a lot. I think it's a lot of people's favorite uh, Vishal film because you know we tend to like fairly um, dialogue driven. Obviously, if he's doing Shakespeare like he's done multiple times, we love that because there's so many great moments for actors and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, uh, this was more of an ensemble piece, uh, but I think he he did a. Like, there's certain ensemble pieces, like there's John Wick, like, it's not an ensemble piece, but it's like that kind of action movie, gangster flick. Uh, but Vishal put his own spin on it, which I, I, I really, really enjoyed. Uh, and I, I didn't ever get lost, but I could definitely see how you would. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I was lost most of the film in terms of how did they end up there? Why does that person care about that one? Mm. Um, it, it wasn't enough to make me... Um, like there's been times I've been watching films and I've been like, okay, just end already. It didn't do that to yeah. me. I just was very frustrated with, I wanted to be more connected yeah. and invested in the characters, yeah. especially since both Shahid and uh, Priyanka and the guy who plays her brother yeah. were doing such good work. Yeah, a lot of the gangsters did really, really good I, work. The scene, the gun scene where his crazy friend is in there and they're going, yeah. boom, boom, whoa, boom, boom. That was a great boom. scene. That was a great scene. Yeah, Vishal does a really good job. We can go into him now a little more. He does a really good, obviously, in the interview, he said he became a director because he wanted to write and score his own films. Huh. And so he said, I, I basically became a director so I could do those Have things. Have the creative control <laughs> to do that stuff. <laughs> Which I was like, yeah, it's hey, more power to you. you. Exactly. You do a great job. If you could do the, all those things so, so well, why not? Of course. Uh, but yeah, the... Uh, and it, that goes to show you the link and how important it is for directors to have a really good relationship with the composers and mm -hmm. how how intimate that relationship typically is for the, the, the person doing the music composition and the director. If you study the relationships of a lot of directors and their composers or a director who is a composer, they're, they're like, they got to be like that a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, so yeah. sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, 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 no. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I thought he did so, so well with so many aspects. I loved this entire score behind it. Yeah, great. It was, the music was, was great, as were the songs. The songs were really catchy. Yep. Uh, and the, the club scene uh, with him. That's and what the, I was thinking the, of. The friend. Yeah, where they, were, where they found the guitar and yeah. they know they're going to have millions of dollars. And... Uh, so that was great. I thought Vishal did a flawless job with the fight scene. Because yeah, with with the, with the Shahid the fighting Shahid, yeah. Uh, because you know he didn't have Marvel money. Because obviously, no. when Marvel, you know, they they've had we've seen fights where people fight each other. Yeah, it takes a lot of money to make it look really, really good. It, it does. And I know he didn't have a small budget. No, and he stretch. had a great stand-in for Shahid. Tell yeah. you that. 
but like every single thing it was just flawless yeah with uh with you know every punch where he went over here it didn't look like he was just trying to cheat and no make and it. the other thing that Bashal did is he didn't give us the money shot like look I'm doing a movie with the same actor playing two guys. Yeah. He did reveal it that way, but it was never just over the top, look at what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. He did a very realistic, believable job of portraying the two brothers. Yeah, it was it was quite seamless uh, in, in that aspect. I, 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 th I think I really enjoyed that part of it a lot. Just, it got jacked. <laughs> yeah, this, this is the biggest he's been, and, and I, I, he also got waxed. Uh, <laughs> He got jacked. He, he got waxed. He did. Um, and uh, the the I, I just my my favorite thing of this because I agree with you. This wouldn't be. I would I would definitely obviously Hedder's my favorite Michelle Barnes oh, film. Yeah. Um, but for, it just was again it underscored for me the first of all the gritty dirty nature of the way that he directs that I love so much. Oh. And, and, and the same way of a, the most we I think we've made this comparison before. Uh, my two favorite directors of film that influenced me growing up are Scorsese and Spielberg. Mm -hmm. And very much Vishal and, and uh, Sanjay Lila Bansali are very much that same way. If, if you look at the work, Scorsese gets a bit dirtier. And, and Spielberg can. I mean, <laughs> Saving Private Ryan's pretty mm -hmm. freaking hard to watch. But, uh, and they're both really detail, yeah, but, but attention to detail. Spielberg's never has, like, I hate using the word dirty shots, but right, he exactly. It, they're all very clean. He goes, he does like like Sanjay. Mm -hmm. His shots are typically quite clean, mm -hmm. and they're beautiful because of it. He has a mastery of cinema that his lighting and everything. Like, there's so many times I watch a Spielberg film, and I'm just I I fold my arms and look and go, that is so beautifully set up that shot right there. Mm -hmm. Same thing with with Sanjay. Whereas with uh, there's a much more, there's a visceral nature to Scorsese and there's a visceral nature to, to Bardwash. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it fits this forum. I, I, I compare him most to Quentin, I think. Yeah. Is how I like his Quentin likes to do dirty. The only difference is that Quentin is so dialogue heavy. Yeah, he is. But yeah. But I think he, he does, he does. This do... wasn't, this wasn't dialogue heavy, but some of his other ones are. True. So, like, uh, obviously, all the oh, Shakespeare ones. Hey, I was gonna say, <laughs> if you're doing Shakespeare, it's gonna be dialogue heavy. <laughs> so, yeah, that uh, that's how I would I would love to work. He's probably oh. I would probably love to work with him. I mean, I would love to work with Sanjay, of course, but he's probably the one I would love to work with probably the most, uh, just because of the, every single film of his I've seen, I've just loved, and just he, he's so unique in terms wow, of wow. And you just put me in a in terms of Indian <sighs> cinema. What would you do? What would you do? Oh, I would work with both of no, them. No, 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 <laughs> Here you go. They're both shooting films at the same time with roles that you would love to do, but you've got to choose one because their productions are happening at the same time. Which one are you doing? I know the answer. I know the answer. Well, here's the thing. Uh, and forget it. It's not like Nawazuddin's in one. Well, who's in the other Exactly, one? no. Because if no I'm names. Up. No names. It's no names. And that's impossible. I know. I'm just. I'm wanting you to solely think about. It's an opportunity. Artistic wise, I would love to work with Michelle. Michelle Barnes. I know. Uh, I figured that's, that, that would be your that, choice. That would be my. Choice. And it would mean nothing for you. You'd be sick that you're not getting that opportunity with Sanjay. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. 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 <laughs> There's a legend. <laughs> exactly. I would know, but he's your cup of tea in the same way. Shahid's the kind of actor, the kind of roles that you would resonate to work with. And yeah. I, I would be interested to see uh, his roles before this. Because he was, you know, chocolate boy, right. um, which is still weird for me to say. It sounds racist to me. It does to me too. It's, <laughs> I'm still not used to it. Yeah, no, I know you don't mean it that way, but uh, for us, it's that's like what it sounds like. But anyways, yeah, the uh, I love. Like, I would be interested to see his work before this to see how much he grew and the kind of roles that he got put in. Yeah, uh, it was similar to like a Heath Ledger got put into certain roles that he didn't really want, but you know, you gotta right. do it right um, at the beginning of your career. Yeah. And, I'm, and Priyanka is just... Well, she apparently didn't... Uh, she turned it down originally. She turned this role down. Because... Do we know why? Um, she didn't think it was a, a 
a prominent enough role at the time. Ah, uh, but she so was a huge, career choice wise. But yeah, she was a okay. huge Vishal fan, and so she wanted uh, to be. So Vishal flew had to she Miami. Done Seven Kun Moff. This no. is pre Seven Kun Moff. Yeah, so yeah. she he flew to Miami to convince her, and uh, she's a she, smart man. Yeah. He, uh, I want to just watch everything she's done. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward. I've said it I've said it before. I just think that she is an undiscovered jewel in American cinema for sure. And I'm I, I I'm really looking forward to two things happening with Priyanka. The first one is the time where she's able to get into a role and show America in American film the chops that she's got and be a part of the awards conversation. Yeah. Which would then see a larger bridging of the gap that she's already starting to make. Whether you like it or not, if you're here in America, you could mention Shahid Kapoor, Rithik Roshan, uh, SRK. Most people aren't going to know who you're talking about. You mentioned Priyanka Chopra. They're going to go, oh, Quantico. Yeah. That's just the way it is here. So she is definitely somebody that you know, can bring... You know she's been promoting Belly Boy here? That doesn't surprise me. She hosts, she's been hosting multiple screenings of it. For people in LA. That's fantastic. That's she's fantastic. Not, she's not even a part of the film. And when she had The Sky is Pink, which sadly didn't do well here, uh, you know, she did everything she could. And to their credit, wherever she went, like when she was on Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy talked about her film as a film. And when he played a clip from the film, he played it in Hindi with subtitles and didn't promote it as an Indian film. It was Priyanka's film. And man, let there be more of that and yeah. bridge the gap. Um, but yeah, this uh, this was uh, I I really enjoyed this film. I would definitely watch it again. I would I would recommend it. Like I said, it's a, it's not my favorite Vishal film, but it's not. Uh, I would I would still recommend it to people. It's, Actually, I think it's quite digestible. Mm. Yeah, I yeah I struggle with that because like I was going to say I would recommend it to Americans, but it's just it would be the subtitles that you got lost in. Yeah, I that I was so disconnected. If throughout. it was in English, I think most people could follow it. Uh, but obviously, eh, I don't know. It's one of those things. It's sadly uh, one of those things. But it's it, I don't think it's it's a very familiar film to Americans. It is as far as pacing, as far as yeah the feel. Yes, it is. 100%. But I, and I think I, I bet you're right. It's I bet, probably the subtitles that would lose people. I I would be example if I'm on a long flight to India mm -hmm. and this is on there mm -hmm. and there's really nothing else for me to watch. Mm -hmm. I would revisit this again mm -hmm. to see where I disconnected. Mm -hmm. And I don't blame the shawl. I, I I really it may be the editing. Mm -hmm. There may have been some editing choices he made that really disconnected me and jarred me mm -hmm. because that wouldn't surprise me from Vishal. Mm -hmm. He's the kind of director who would be unapologetic if he made an editing choice that really didn't sit well. Because mm -hmm. he's not interested necessarily in the rhythms and the pace being clean. Mm -hmm. he's, that's what we love about him. Yeah, he's I dirty. Him. I love him so yeah. much. So <laughs> yeah. I, I would definitely revisit it, but that was my only, my only chagrin was, was that. Please let us know down in the comments what's the next, uh, from Shahid, Priyanka. Especially Vishal, it's probably going to be Omkara. That'll probably be the next. That for sure. Uh, and I think shopping, with Priyanka, yeah. it's going to be fashion. That not that the one that people just keep saying over and over again we should see? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Especially, if, uh, yeah. So. Yeah. What? what? Nothing. There's something going on in your mind in that one. When I said fashion. Yeah. I mean, it was your think... mom. <laughs>